Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to week three of Famous. Have you ever thought about being famous? You know, like the people on YouTube or on television or on Instagram. Yeah, that kind of famous. You know, so many people want to be famous. But, you know, we have to think about why do we want people to see us or hear us? Is it for the right reason? Hmm, let's hope so. Well, we are talking about Solomon. You know, King Solomon, he was David's son. This week, we're gonna see that after Solomon becomes king, he's got a big job to do and he's pretty nervous. Callie's gonna tell us a little bit more about that, but before we get started, we gotta make sure we have our learning hat on, our listening ears, and our learning eyes, and we're gonna visit Callie at Callie's World. Here we go. aren't we? I know for sure I am. But I have a question for you. Do you like games? I love games, so if you love games as much as I do, can you make some noise? That was fun. I can tell you love to play. Tell you what, I'll let you choose which one of these famous games we'll play together. Shout it out! Duck Duck Goose, Freeze Tag, The Floor is Lava, Hide and Seek, or a little game called Kelly Says. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say a bunch of things that you have to do, but only if I say Kelly Says. If I don't say Kelly Says, but you do the action anyway, you're out. Awesome, so let's go. If you're a mom or a dad or a babysitter or teacher, maybe you can help me out. Remember, it's just a game, so it's all fun. Ready? Yeah. Callie says, put your hands in the air, 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 air. Callie says, put them down. Callie says, Put your hands in the air, 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 air. Callie says, wave them around like you just don't care. Now stop. Uh-oh. I didn't say Callie says. <laughs> Who got caught? This is so much fun. One more. Okay, this one is a little bit more difficult. I don't know if y'all are ready. I mean... I know you're awesome, but are you ready for this round? Let's go. Callie says, close your eyes. Callie says, open. Callie says, close. Callie says, open. Callie says, close. Now open. Yay! Was that tough? Ah, it was fun, right? You know what else is fun? A Bible story! It's time for our Bible story. Our Bible story for today starts kind of sad, but it doesn't end that way. King David died after being king for 40 years. That's a really long time. He lived a good life, not perfect, but good. He made some mistakes, but he always loved God and tried his best to follow God's instruction. His son Solomon became the king after him, and this was a really good thing because Solomon loved God and he wanted to serve God just like his father had. One day Solomon went to a high place to worship God. While he was there, God spoke to Solomon in a dream. God said, ask me for whatever you want. Can you imagine? What would you ask for? A pet giraffe? A lifeline supply of marshmallows? A dog that can talk? Those are all cool, but God's not a genie who grants wishes. God is our creator, our savior, our friend. So instead of asking for a gumball machine that never runs out, Solomon spent time with God. 
He told God that he was nervous about being king because he was so young. He was just a kid like you. Okay, maybe a little older than you, but still, he was worried that he wouldn't know what to do or how to lead God's people. So out of all the things in the whole universe Solomon could have asked for, he asked God to give him wisdom. God grinned from ear to ear. The Bible doesn't really say that, but I bet it happened. Solomon didn't ask for stuff. He asked God to help him be a wise and kind leader. God was so pleased with this that he gave Solomon what he had asked for and more. Have you ever felt nervous about doing something you weren't sure you could do? Remember just like Solomon, when we need help, we can ask for God's guidance. Another amazing story. These stories are so good, right? Solomon really loved God and listened to God. I really want to be like that all the time. It's kind of like our game though, wasn't it? I was telling you what to do and you listened. Well, some of you. <laughs> I'm so happy to know that when we need help, we can ask for God's guidance. And when we ask, God will help us with whatever we need. What things do you need help with? Maybe learning how to share. Maybe asking for help when you need it. Maybe you miss someone a whole bunch and aren't sure what to do. We can always go to God and that is awesome. Before we go though, there is this awesome song from my super famous friends Chip and Stacy. It's the Shake 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 song. Maybe we can try it and see if you can follow along. Hey. Reach up and down. Come on guys, reach up and down. Ready to shake, Chip? Ready. Shake, 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 up. Come on, Chip, down. Touch the ground. Hey, hey. Up. Reach, reach, reach. Down. Let's go. Shake, 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 hey. shake, 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 up and down. Amazing trip. I feel all better already. You I'm friends. nice and stretched. Are you moving friends? Friends, thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. It's been so much fun. Well, boys and girls, we can see that the story started off pretty sad. David grew very, very old and David died. You know, that happens, right? There are people that die and we miss them and they're with God. And that's so wonderful that they're with Jesus. But you know, Solomon became king after David died and he was pretty nervous. Would you be nervous? I would be super nervous if I had to be the queen of like the whole, whole place. Wow, that would make me nervous. But you know, Solomon did something really smart. Instead of asking for lots of money or to be more famous, he asked God for wisdom. Or in our story, they called it guidance, which is about the same thing, right? When we ask for wisdom, we're asking God to guide us, to help us make the right choices. And that's what Solomon did. You know, we all make mistakes, we all sin, but remember, we can always ask for God's guidance when we get off track, right? Well, our memory verse for our series is comes from 1 Corinthians 10, 31, and it reminds us, so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. You know, when God gives us something or maybe we win something or maybe no, people know about our name, it's all for him. It's great when God does great things through us or a kind act, uh, we give a toy or we share something. But remember, whatever we do, we should do it all for the glory of God. 
We want people to praise God because they see us doing good works, right? Well, boys and girls, oh, I forgot. Can't forget our big idea for today. When we need help, we can ask for God's guidance. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to do some things on your own, but if you can't figure it out, if you don't know what to do, ask God for his guidance and he'll give it to you. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this week's story. And hey, rewind this, play it again, okay? You can always catch us again and again. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.